Hello everyone, Ian Brooks of the Armory in New York City, and yes indeed, a, a special guest with me today, and I must say I'm delighted to spend time with him once again, Alan Webb. Alan, welcome back to the Armory. This is another of your homes, I do feel. It is, it is. It's good to be back. It's good to be racing again. Um, it's been a while, and uh, it's been a while since I've been here, and it's been a while since I've raced too, so uh, killing two birds with one stone. Alan, let's start with uh, your race today. This is your first race for something, what, nine months, is it? Uh, I think it's about seven and a half, but either way, it's, pretty, it's been a while. So, you know, I was actually able to watch the race with your coach, Jason, today and stand there and watch you in action. And I must say, I think whilst you might be initially disappointed, I looked at it and felt very encouraged. I am too, um, now that I've cooled down a little bit. Um, yeah, I know my... Uh, I think my racing instincts are a little bit rusty, um, but you know, uh, it was fun to be out there. You know, those guys, you know, those guys ran really hard and the guy that won did a great job. So I got to, um, you know, tip my hat to those guys and, uh, but it's, it's just good to be out there and, and mixing it up with the boys. And, you know, I've got, I've got a lot of work to do, but, uh, you know, it's, I have to start, I had to start somewhere and, uh, a better place to come to the New York Armory where I'm have a, a little soft spot. I must say, we talked before the race. We sat in the cafeteria area here, and um, uh, everyone obviously speculates on what you're going to come back and do. And we talked, and we talked 152, 153, and you said, Ian, well, it might be 155. How right could you be? Yeah, I, I, I semi-expected it to be right, right around there. Um, so it, it, uh, that's why I wasn't, I'm not terribly disappointed. Um, but uh, I still don't like to lose, and I think I made some racing mistakes. Um, uh, but it, I, I, I feel it's, it's a great place to build from. So, um. Well, the only real mistake I noticed was on the back straight on the last lap when you allowed the eventual winner, who incidentally you've made his day because he's all over the internet now as a, as a hero, <laughs> as the man to, who beat Alan Webb today. But he came wide and you didn't react quickly enough exactly. to make him go wide. That's the only real mistake I felt. Maybe you saw more. That, that's, that, 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 it, the, at the moment of truth... Um, uh, I failed. I, I failed to react quick, quick enough. Um, and uh, in an 800, you know, and I haven't done, you know, I haven't gone, gone to that that speed yet. You know, you kind of only get one shot, uh, and it's over. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, he ran a great race, and so, uh, you know, he deserved to win. And I, uh, I got, you know, go back. I'll uh, go back and hopefully learn from my mistakes. One of the things earlier on, I was talking to Jason, your coach, and he, he uh, clearly is a very patient young man. I say young, I mean he's mid-30s, but he's, he, I think he's a great balance for you because you are by nature intense, but I get the impression that Jason's a very calming influence on you. He's, he's uh, trying to get me to, to, to take things in perspective. Um, so I think it's, it, I think hopefully it will... It will it will show over time. You know, it's one of those things that he's trying to instill in me is that you know you have to take the right steps. Um, and and I, th and I think it helped. I, I thought I thought that I, I did a, I did a, a great job at putting myself in the right position at least. Um, I, granted, I didn't do what I should have done with the position that I had, but I, f I felt like I put myself in the right spot. I was where I should have been. I just didn't use it right. Um, and so. Um, well, racing's different, isn't it? I mean, you, you, you come in, you've got to be rusty after seven, eight months because you lose those quick instincts. Exactly, exactly. Um, and you, you sort of forget what you're supposed to focus on. Yeah. Um, and those, those little subtle things can, can make a big difference. And, um, and, and, and it showed in the race today. It showed. Well, I, I know you haven't been doing any speed work either, have you really? Well, I haven't done nothing. You know, I haven't exactly you know i'm not super sharp um but you know we're 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 just we're just doing uh a, a good balance of things you know so i, I feel like I'm, I'm in a way far away but in, in a way not so far away um i don't think you're as far away as the, the, the time 15502 shows i you know, you'll come on very quick let's move to other things um congratulations a on your marriage to julia the delightful julia and of course, you'll be a father in June. Wow! I will. I will. So Julia is expecting, and uh, she's uh, 16 weeks this weekend, 
So we are, uh, we are really, really, really excited about that. We cannot wait. Um, she's due in the middle of June. So right in the, in the child's time, of course. Uh, yeah. Um, it, there's a lot of stuff going on in that month. <laughs> so we will have an exciting life in the month of June, um, whether, whether we like it or not. <laughs> and uh, it, it's, uh, we're really looking forward to it. Um, you know, Julia is uh, doing really well. Every, she's healthy. And everything's going according to plan, and um, you know it's, we ha we'll have uh, a lot of things to celebrate um, off the track. Well, I'm you know I've met Julia obviously a number of times with you, and um, I always felt that was a good mix too. The two of you complement each other really nicely. <laughs> we do. She's a, she's a special she's a special girl. I can tell you that. Um, you know she is. Uh, if not more passionate about the sport of running than I am, and so she really. Uh, you know, she, she loves to be around this sport, and so it, she's, she makes my life uh, a lot easier because she, she understands, um, you know, she understands what I'm going through, and, uh, and she enjoys the process as much as I do. And so it's fun to have, have my best friend there with me, and, uh, you know, we, we have fun doing, it, uh, you know, going, living the runner lifestyle. Um, so uh, you've obviously emailed or texted or phoned her since the race, have you? Yeah, yeah, you know, she, she, uh, she, you know, she obviously wants me to do, do, always win, win, win. <laughs> um, but you know, she's, she, she's, she's still supportive, obviously. So. Now I also hear on the grapevine that you're taking piano lessons. Oh no, my goodness! <laughs> now they're hyping up this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm learning. You know, I guess that's, uh, it's a great, a great lesson for this. You know, I, I couldn't even play a tune um, three months ago and now I'm, you know, I'm coming along I can play twinkle twinkle little star and uh, you know and then hopefully you know maybe uh, Claire de Lune in a, in a year or two you know we'll, 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 we'll conquer that next time because <laughs> you you're pretty good at, with a guitar aren't you I was okay I was okay I just I taught myself and had fun with it and wanted to try something different and uh, you know Vidge wanted me to uh, he said you had you have to do something you have to do something to uh, to something off the track, some, something something where you're accomplishing something beyond running. And uh, you know, I've, I've always had sort of a musical um, interest, um, but it was always you know informal. I didn't have any like instruction. I just sort of messed around, and so I was like, hey, what, what what's something that I've always I've always you know everybody has a piano in their house, and you go to someone's house, they have a piano, and sitting there, and I'm like, I want to I want to I want to I want to do that. I want to I want to I want to learn how to do that, and so. It's a work in progress, so, so we'll, won't be any any uh, duets with uh, um, with Coldplay anytime soon. But uh, you know, we'll work on that. <laughs> so, Alan, looking ahead um, in January, it's the uh, Olympic marathon trials. Yes. And I'm sure you're as excited as I am. Do you have any thoughts on that at all? Uh, that you're prepared to put on the oh. record? Oh my goodness gracious! I. Uh, and I just ran the 800, which is like the exact opposite of you know I'm going the kind of going the other direction there. Um, it's 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 going to be interesting, you know, on the men and women's side. Um, I don't even have the slightest idea prediction-wise, you know, because the marathon is uh, it's so much can happen. It's such a long race that um, sometimes the fitness isn't isn't what makes a difference you know like there's a nutrition part of it you know like you know glycogen and drink the drinks and all that stuff and so strange strange things can happen in, in the marathon so it'll it will be uh it'll be uh it'll be really it'll be really fun to watch um and uh yeah it'll be great well i think you're an 800 well, 1500 meter guy rather than marathon runner down the road i must say but <laughs> I, I think so too i think so too it's kind of uh the intensity of the track is kind of a little bit more, yeah. little, a little more my thing. Um, even though I, I, that's why I want to get back to it. I was just, I, I wanted to race. I, I couldn't wait, and this was the first one that was available. Yeah. And I was like, what, what's the, what's the first opportunity that I can race? Let's do it. Let's go out there and get it done. Well, I must say, Alan, over the the years, obviously the internet is always into Alan Webb, and uh, it, what was interesting today, by the way, was so many people came up to Alan for pictures and photographs, and it, it was just like going back in time again. It, it never seems to change, which I know you've, you're very good with people. I've noticed that. But the, the essence of you is 
you've got a bad rap over the years for, for not being a racer, but I've always believed you are a racer. I remember in Icon Stadium when you took down the gat, et cetera, that day. Your instincts are there to race. Um, just people, are, for whatever reasons, are focused on your great solo runs. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, I, I've, I've got strengths and I've got weaknesses and, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of all part of it. You know, I, I, I think that for anybody, you know, you know for any, any track and field athlete, uh, any middle distance runner, you have ups and downs, and 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 some sometimes you you run well, sometimes you don't, and so um, I think that just like anybody else, I'm uh, you know when things are going well, I'm doing well, and sometimes when things aren't going so well, you don't do so well, and it's, it's that simple. You know, when things are going good, I will race well, and I and I, and I can race, and I know that I have confidence that w once I sort of work the kinks out, I can do it. You know, I'm not afraid to to be in those races in those in those moments. Um, and 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 the racing instincts is part of that. You know, it's just like it's 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 just like it, it's just like fitness. You know, um, that's one piece of the puzzle, and you have to put all the pieces together at the same time to do really well. And when I do that, then I I, I uh, then I'll I'll do well. You know, and I and I know I have confidence um, to know that you know it's it's just a matter of time before I you know I, I figure it out. Mm. Well, I'm going to stick my neck out and say here the best is yet to come, Alan. I think so too. I think so too. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, a nice chat with Alan Webb back here at the Armory in New York City.